use as much as I can. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is grab a piece of black, leave it one millimeter open here, and leave it, well, I wanna stay away, one fourth away. Well, you can eyeball that. Okay, that is the first thing that I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I am going to score half inch. There we go. And now I go measure with a mark, leave one millimeter away from the bottom piece, cut this, yep we're gonna cut this, now we're gonna add this on here. So that's the first thing I want to make because I want to make as plenty as possible on this On this paperback. I don't know why I'm keep forgetting how the paperback is called, but let's say I need to get back in my drills, back in my mojo. Okay, so glue this on the top of this paperback. Stay away a little from the edge. You don't want it to be too close to the edge. Alright, that's it. Make sure your glue is nice and dry. Clean up the mess if there is any mess. Okay. See, now you still have plenty of space here and again for a nice big photo if you want. Now on here I'm going to do something with this one. I do like, oh, what about a nice flip out for measuring these two? What about that? Oh, I love that. So what can we do? We just grab a piece of paper, make sure that you are a millimeter smaller than the bottom piece. Cut this, and perhaps I can make this as a one. So I'm going to make a flippity flop on each side, and then I'm going to make sure it's the right size. Okay, balance this down each side. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now what I like to do, oh yes, I am, I'm just going to fold this in half. Guys, this is going to be the scrap queen way. Now I like to make a mark in the middle and that is right here. So now I can just put this on here left side. Now let's see if I do it correctly. Well you can do first one. Wait just a minute. Wait just a second. Just be sure. Let's do first one. Then I just don't have to do it in half but let's just play for safe. See because Let's glue this on, the first one. Let's go for safe, guys. Don't make mistakes. Okay, I'm just going to glue this on the left side, leaving one millimeter away from the edges, just a bit. Just give it a little space all the way around. Okay. Yep, 
clean up. Make sure the glue is everywhere. Alright. Now grab the next one. Put it on the other side. Where you want it. Where it's going to be. And now just make that mark exactly against that other piece. Cut it. And now I think we've had the perfect one. Yep. That's cool. See, now we do it a little more safe. Just put this against it. Let's see how you want it. It's okay to leave it a one millimeter open, guys. That's perfectly fine. That's fine with me. Just a little millimeter in between, so it's easy to open up. It's better. Clean up all the mess. If there is any mess, I need to put less glue on. I need to get back in my mojo. Alright. Yay! Okay, so that's cool. So we have a nice 3x4 photo frame right here that we can apply nice photos on. That's cool. And same on the inside. What do you think about making a pocket here? Of course, make a pocket. Yes. Alright, just search to your leftover pieces. This will not fit. Let's see. This one fit. So it's a nice leftover piece of two inches, about two inches. Does not have to be exact same size, but if you have something that's about the same size, then it's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna make first a hinge. I'm gonna bring back Stay away one millimeter, guys. Stay away one millimeter from that fold line. Make a mark. And then again, make that fold line. I'm going to cut this shorter with my scissor or with my cutting machine. Whatever you please. And that's my pocket. Sometimes people ask me why I do not make a hinge at the bottom of a pocket. Uh, the main reason for me is this is easier. That's reason number one. And the second reason why I do this is because now if I put something in here, nothing is bumping in. So I can put something in here. Let's assume that I'm going to glue this down. So everything what I put in here will not bumping. It, it's going to be ending while, um, while this is attaching, of course, at, at this piece. So it's not bumping in each other. And if you want to make exactly uh, as a hinge at the bottom, at some point your paper is going to be stopping at that hinge that's here. So you're losing space. And... Well, sometimes it will go lower, but the most of the time it will bumping in that hinge. So that is why I do not like that bottom hinge. But if you like it, be my guest using a hinge at the bottom. I'm going to make this nicely all the way around with a millimeter away. Put it on, clean your glue if there is any. Okay, so now when I put something in here, it just go all the way down till the glue where it's supposed to be. And if I had same here, if I go to the left, it's bumping in that hinge. But of course, after we apply um, the background paper that goes over that hinge, everything I will put in here is not 
bumping in anything. See right here, it bumps in that hinge on this side. That's why I put some design paper after I put a pocket. All right, so that's the main reason. Okay, so a nice pocket, done. This is done. We'll see how I am gonna keep this close. I have not no, no clue for now. Perhaps I'm gonna do something about it, but for now I will leave this as it is. Okay, that's for now, and now it's time to decorate. Yeah. All right, so what kind of a closure can we do? We can make this closure, but then this is still loose. Um, we can do a closure, a magnet right here, but then only this side will close us down and not this. Um, what else can we do that makes it all close? You don't have to, because if you're opening an album, not everything will flip, especially not these ones. So I am going to leave this as it is, and I do love the small closures, but do we have the space for that? Because I don't want to lose the photo space, the photo spots, I don't want to lose it. Mm, what if we make a frame on it? If we make a frame on it, then we can make a little closure on that frame. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea, I think. But if we make a frame and it is a half inch, how much do we lose then from the picture? Well, let's see. Mm, halfway here, halfway there. Okay guys, let me just check it out. So this is a 3 by 4 And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is a half inch. I still think it's nice. You have a, yeah, I do. I do. We are going to make a frame out of this. Okay, let's, let's just do that. <laughs> So sorry. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um. Pom 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 How do we do that? Well, the easiest way, the scrap queen way, is. Let's see. Do I have some leftovers? Let's start with this one. The Scrap Queen way. How to make a frame. So you can add your picture. Um, I think we're going to make that on top. A top opening. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So the first thing that we're going to do. Yay. <laughs> Grab a square, uh, a scoreboard. Grab a scoreboard. Grab a scoreboard, guys. And let's just score half inch here. And a half inch here. That's what I'm gonna start with. Um, can I cut this in an angle? I believe so. Yep. Okay. Fold this. Push it down. And fold this one. Bring your thing back. Now we have a fold line here, fold line here. Okay, put it on your page. Yep, and make a mark where this one ends. Okay, so this will fit on here. Make it a half. Well, make it a millimeter shorter, of course. Then I'm going to score right here, cut this off, half inch, so you can use the other 
half, I think, I hope. <laughs> All right, cut this also in a corner. There we go. Okay, so now you actually have made a big pocket. Let's check it out. Somehow it is not straight. Ooh, what happens? It's not straight at all. Oh my gosh. What happened here? Why this one is totally not straight at all? Okay, let's check it out. What went wrong? What went wrong? Can I fix that? This one was the line. Let's see how much that went wrong. Let me see if I can fix that. Otherwise I'm just gonna make a new one. But I'm just gonna see if I can fix that. I think a new one is better, but I'm always stubborn. And I want to see if I can fix it. So I'm just gonna put my finger on here. See if I have fixed it, and otherwise I'm gonna make a new one. So let's check it out. Put it on it. Oh, I don't see it that good. Oh, I did fix it. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I can continue with this one. Um, let's make another line right here and I'm gonna make just to make sure a line on here so I definitely know that one here and one there is exactly the same spot all right open it up cut it and an angle Yep, here we go. Yes, okay, the only thing I don't want is that this overlaps each other. So I'm just gonna make sure that I am cutting this a little less. Okay, same here. Cutting it a little less. So there's none bumping in each other this way too. I want this to be open. Yep. Cool. All right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's one. That's one that will fit nicely on here. Cool. Now, how you make a frame? Of course, you need to cut out a nice frame right here. Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna fold it the other way around to make sure that this spot is here. Alright, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna draw whatever I like. So what do I want? So, I'm gonna make this half inch or one centimeter all the way around. So I'm gonna make some marks. One centimeter or half inch, whatever you like. Sorry guys, my nose is still sniffy about that 
other thing that I mentioned earlier. Don't want to talk about it any longer, but yeah, my head is still full of it. But there is good news afterwards. Yep, there is. Okay. So this is a simple cutout frame. Hmm, but actually I do like it a little nicer. Okay. What I mean by nicer is when I do something different. How can I do that? Okay, so this is a big, big piece. I don't want so what well, about this is a different one guys I, I made two the same one so this is still the one that I'm gonna use for my for my paper bags gosh I need a big sign here paper bags <laughs> oh, gosh so what if I'm gonna make exactly the same one with a one by one centimeter Let's see how that turns out. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's little small, small it is. Okay, same thing here cut from corner to corner. Alright. Okay. Where well, it is? Here it is. You still can use this one, but you also can use this one. Same as the other one. Alright, so what if I am cutting this, not cutting first, making a line, flip it over, same as we did with the paper bags. It will be a nicer frame, I can tell you that. Nice. That is nice. Nice is my middle name. No. What the heck? Alright, that's cool. So if you cut out this, then you still have a nice little photo frame. Oh yes, you have. But how do you gonna do that with design paper? Okay, that is a bit tricky. But if we wanna make a frame out of it, oh, can we do that? Of course we can. Of course we can. Okay, just gonna grab a piece of paper. I'm gonna make sure that this is just a little, not too much, but just a little black edge all the way around. Okay, just a little. Just make it a millimeter smaller or something. Okay. Let's see how this works nice. Yeah, this fits perfect. So what if I put this on the back? Well, I even can put this in here so it stays there. Okay, guys, this is just a tryout. Huh? This is just a tryout. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for this. Yep. Alright. I'm going to grab a ruler and a knife. And then I'm just going to start cutting all the bits and pieces. Gosh, where do we start? This is hard to see. I think it's better to put it on the outside. Then I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, just start. And I always start gentle and go a few times. Till I know that I'm all the way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, this takes some time. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you my good news of the day. First, we had sad news. But I also have good news because, of course, my dog Chevy is lonely now after you know what. And she's lonely. And we always had two dogs, so it's time to think of another dog to go for Chevy. And in the time being that I live by myself, meaning not with my parents, I always have dogs. I always, about since I am a little child, we always have dogs. Even that I move out, I always had a dog. I even learned my first dog because I worked fully, full time then. I even learned her to uh, pee on a cat thing. How you call that when a cat, a cat thing, grit, but toilet, a cat toilet. So I learned my dog, and it was a little dog, to do it on that cat toilet when I was working during the day but at 12 always my dad goes see her so she always gets visiting at noon for also a walk out but if she couldn't get to it that time then she go she can go on well anyway i'm, I'm telling you way too much but <laughs> the meaning is i always had the first one was a white uh, vest um, how you call that? West Highland Terrier. That she was. The second one was a Karen Terrier. The first one I had only for five years uh, because she had a disease. Um, the second one was so a Karen Terrier. And the third one was also a Karen Terrier. So yeah, I am in a Terrier mood. But. This time, I thought it was time to do a change because there are so many nice breeds. There are, there are so many. And um, and I always love small girls, small girls, well small dogs. I do love small dogs. And how about Pomerians? I don't know if the, the, I pronounce it. Um, I'm just going to call it in Dutch. And in Dutch is a Pomerian. And in, in, in English I think it's a Pomerian. I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, I love those dogs. I do love those. I am falling in love with them. And I always wanted one. So, I think it's time to get a new friend for my girl. So, what I did was searching for it, of course. See if, uh, if there was any nearby. And... Um, there was, yeah, there was. But the only trouble was it was a newborn. So I have to wait for it. Oh, that's not my thing. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I went to that woman and 
and she is a hobby yeah she just loves pomerians and she she does um, have nests once in a while just as a hobby not as a ugly full I call that fucker time breed oh I don't know um, anyway we went to there to her house and she has them all in in her living room well not all but um, when they are giving birth to them they are and so yeah we had a chat and oh my god it was a very very loving loving evening and we not only fell in love with her dogs but we also fell in love with that woman it she is just amazing it's just amazing person and we felt good about it so so yeah even she only had at that time being um, a new nest it was a little disappointing that she does not have one right away to pick up, but okay. Normally I would have. That makes me a little bit easier to go around after you put someone down. But if that makes sense to you guys, I know, I know perhaps you don't have that but I do I love to have right away a new one so I get occupied with <laughs> but anyway um, she doesn't have any but gosh the her dogs are so amazing and so good and so oh handsome oh my gosh they were so handsome they were Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna flip this back forward where it's supposed to be, so I don't have those lines. Alright, so this is it. Go back, fold this nicely. Now let's see if my template is also still nice. If I cut this with design paper, does that be nice? Do I have to flip this around? Just gonna check it out, guys. Just gonna check it out. Check, check, check it out. Okay. The bottom and the top is for my sake perfect, but I always can cut it a little shorter but I also can do that when I'm cutting out my design paper so I'm gonna leave this right now I'm gonna put a little mark on it what the top is so okay that should do it that is a nice frame yeah. I do like something on the back of course um, what color? Oh my god, yeah, it's almost lunchtime, guys. So <laughs> I have a little hungry. <laughs> so that is why I'm a little. <laughs> I'm not bored or everything, but I'm hungry. Um, what shall we do on the background? Um, well, you don't see the background if you put something, a picture in it, but you also don't want to be ugly. So I'm just gonna search for, shall I do it with design paper? Mm, I don't wanna do it with design paper. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use some simple brown piece, I think. Because we're gonna add something in there and I don't. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut a brown piece. Then I'm going to put on the background. I don't want to mess with my design paper. Not to be scared that I'm not having enough, but just, it, I, I don't feel it. I, it's, 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 I think it's not necessary to put some nice design paper on the back. 
And if you do this, then you can make it a little larger. All right, so what we're gonna do, put this in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now definitely, okay, wait just a sec. This one, you're gonna glue down. That's the top one. Otherwise you don't have a pocket, of course. Of course, that makes sense. All right. Just glue it down. <laughs> yep, that's that. I'm gonna put this on here. There you go. And then this is your pocket. So these ones you can glue it down if you want. If you want. It's easier guys, it is. It is easier to put it on. So now you have a pocket and that we can put it on. But first, but first I am going to put some nice design paper before I mess it up. So what kind of design paper do we want? Well, I just think a nice, simple, but... Ooh, I love this one. Or frame, but you also can use. Um, <laughs> well, I definitely because the back is pretty simple. So yeah, let's use this one. I have decided to do this one. What you also can do. That's also a possibility. Oh, I just think of that. Oh. You also can do this, of course, but, and then, you know, no, I'm just going to use my template. Let's see how that worked out. So, what I'm going to do, of course, and I'm going to cut it a little, I'm going to try to cut it a little smaller than it is. Cut first this one. Okay. Here we go. Checking. It's nice, a little smaller. Yep, that's pretty okay with me. Okay, now comes the template. I'm gonna do the back. So I don't see the. Alright, and now the meaning is that we just go to draw. see it. It's going to be a very thin line. Oh yeah, that is thin, but let's see. Alright, where's my cutting mat? Where is my cutting mat? Oh, right here. I don't know where I put it there, but never that does, but okay. Alright, so yep, I'm going to cut this out best I can. Alright, oh, I'm gonna shake. 
I'm shaky, shaky. <laughs> but yes, anyway, um, I ordered a new dog. A small dog, I did. I ordered a new dog. So, that's happy news. That it is. How far are we with that new pup? Well, um, okay, so she is gonna be a Pomerian. The color, I have no idea. Mom is white, and dad is light orange. Not a dark orange, not a cream color orange, but a light orange in between that. Um, Mom and Dad are so, so cute and quiet and, and friendly and oh my goodness, I really love those two dogs. So I really have a good feeling about having a pup out of those two. Um, so it's going to be a Pomerian, a girl, I always have girls, never have, have a male, never ever <laughs> i don't know why i just feel um, um, a, a female is more attached to the owner i don't know and i don't like that male pee everywhere they want and i bet you can teach it but i just yeah i have something with females i don't know well anyway so she's gonna be a female and the name is gonna be chica and it was very different difficult for us to pick up a girl uh, uh, a name if you don't own the dog already but I just like to give it it give the pup a name already so the owner can already use the name so she's gonna be familiar already with the name oh gosh <laughs> I'm super excited about this so um, Get out first before I brabble along with you. Let's go chick, 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 get out. Dun, 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 dun. I think it's pretty okay. Just a little on this side. Let's see if I turn it around. No, then I don't like it. This side I like. Yep, that's pretty cool. Yep, I only think one little piece on here. Flip this around just here. A little, a little piece right here. Okay, so in the meantime, um, owner has sent me several pictures now on yeah of of chica and that means so much to me that helps me so so much to yeah have grief or put it behind me or how you're gonna call it but that means a lot to me and yeah I don't think you will find that compassion with everybody I don't know but I am very very happy that that I found her she's so sweet and she makes good photos <gasps> oh my gosh she makes such nice photos as they are make make with uh, professional uh, tools or anything but and I'm gonna show you in the meantime I am gonna show you doing this tutorial I am so leaving the bad thing the bad time behind me looking forward have that uh, feeling of having a new dog in the future in a few weeks oh my gosh i hope the few weeks are going to be well at this time she is five weeks 
four or five weeks at this stage today um, and normally those dogs can go out with nine or ten weeks maybe longer that depends on how big they are and how good they will eat by themselves so that depends so if she is going to do good then she can go with nine weeks but if she takes if she needs a little longer with mom then i have to wait a little longer so gosh i hope she does good i hope she does good i hope she does all right Let me first glue this on. Gosh, this turns out great. Okay, it took a while because you want to make it nice, of course. Just take your time with it. Brabble along, grab a cup of tea <laughs> and make this nice. Take your time. That's, that, that's the thing that I always can't say enough take your time it's a hobby not a competition how quick you do things but look at this isn't that amazing yeah take your time all right now the only thing i forgot <laughs> is about the closure <laughs> all right um I think this is way too small to do a closure, but perhaps you don't need a closure though. Or do we have a closure? What closure then? Okay, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on this side before I glue this on because do we want a closure? Does it need a closure? I don't know. But anyway, this fits perfect for a 3 by a uh, 3x4 picture fits amazingly well and I'm gonna leave this open you can put acetate on the back but I think it's easier to put your photo in and out when it's open you don't have to do always acetate on the back so you can make it I'm gonna leave it open yep I am um so yes I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side and then I'll come back to you I think I'm going to use exactly the same papers for that fits perfectly for an income yeah cool and you still have this big pocket and then afterward yeah 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 okay enough of my brabbling <laughs> I'm gonna make the other one exactly the same and then I'll come back to you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how I did it. Um I have no idea how I can make a closure of this. I could have been having a little boat or something here, but I don't have any. Well, too little, but not with a string around it and Mm. so I just leave it like this I don't I don't think it's necessary to do a closure but if you have a little boat something or something that that fits well I just saw it here something like this would do it with a little string could have done that now I see that I do have these but I didn't so I will leave it like this still having the opportunity to add and that's the most important thing your 3 by 6 um, 3 by 4 inch um, photo mat of course so yeah that's still possible all right so what's next what's next what's next um, I think I go first on the bottom because I want to use this piece right here and I'm going to try to do the bottom of this on here. So let me see how that works out. So I'm just going to see with a little dot. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I have plenty. I have plenty. All right, so I'm gonna use this top piece. That's for sure. And this can go all the way here. All the way till there. So I need to cut this down right here. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. You know me, I always keep the little pieces in a in a, in a little little container. I never know if I'm gonna use them, but perhaps I am. Now, okay, what's it going to do? What we're gonna do on here? Um, yeah, we. I think we can leave this plain. Do you think? So you can. Oh yes, definitely. I'm not gonna put anything in here. Well, we can. Hmm. We can make a little incision to put something in. Just for those who want. Where was my? Oh, here it is. My photo frame piece. So if I put a picture on here, then I will like this to have that it not been seen right here. Well, no, I'm not gonna make anything. Now I do have a nice spot for a nice picture. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna leave. All right, so the meaning is that I can Glue this down. There we go. Put some glue on. I even can put this on the left corner. Upside down. I don't think it's that terrible. I even think it's nicer. Okay, let's do that. Just gluing a piece upside down. Yes, I am. I am, I am, I am. Okay. Now I can glue this one down too. Nice, closely to the edges. Here we go. Nice. Alright, so what shall we do on here? Definitely also a nice spot for a photo. So, you don't have to exactly put a full sheet on here you also can make this with a nice border all the way around that is possible and even even it is possible to match this what what if and I did cut it in pieces like I just told you earlier when I made this perhaps it's easier to cut this sheet in one piece and then split it in four to use it for this one then I have a full one now I do not have that but I still can use this as a nice border you only have to you only have to use well wait just a sec what if what if we're gonna make this as a nice photo frame Say we do. Say we do. So I'm gonna make this as a full sheet. Just like this. See? That fits perfectly. And now I can decorate whatever I want. So let's see. I can still use a piece of this one that still can that still can happening 
also can use the leftover pieces of this one. I also can make this as a tag because it's a nice shape already. But I also can use it for a nice round piece to mix it all up for the same. Or, or let me check because I do have, yeah, 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 I do have something left of this one. Okay, so let me check. Let me check if I am going to cut this right here. Yep. Then I'm going to cut this. Then I also have a piece of loft that we can use. Oh, yes, we are. I do remember that I also want wanted to tell you why I thought Alice in Wonderland is now a good time to use it. And that has nothing to do with any dogs or anything, but that was something that we go to, that we had the chance to go to in... Um, Oh, this fits perfect. Love it. <laughs> that we. I also can use magnets here. Wait just a sec. If I use magnets here at the bottom, I did not do on here, but it's okay. I think this stays nicer. What do you think? Shall I put some magnets here on the bottom? That is possible. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Options. <laughs> that is, of course, an option. And we still have... Oh, yes, I am going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Yep. Let's do that. Let's use some magnets. Well, we do need two, of course. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do it because I still love having... A closure and I don't want a closure on top because that will ruin the nice frame so we are not gonna do that we are just gonna put a magnet where I think just in the middle what do you say just right here yep and then one right here nicely in the middle that is cool. Now sometimes, oh, sometimes. Nope, I'm just gonna use. <laughs> I wanted to say, I want to try to say something. Um, if you have something like, oh my gosh, I do not have it right now. Um, oh, this is. This is also. This should have done also the trick. Some, um, I call that metal piece that is magnetic. Well, not magnetic, but it will work on magnets. See, it will work. Um, then you can make it cheaper uh, for using magnets. But you also can use a nice, oh, I don't have it by hand. Why do I not have it by hand? These are all way too big. Ugh always it's always it's always the case when I don't have it wide in my hands I do have it not here not one piece nope I don't have it well anyway you get the picture if well something like this also that's also magnetic um, not magnetic but uh, metal and then you can make a nice I'm gonna grab wait no I just Clean it up. Okay. <laughs> what I wasn't to ask for. If you have something like these, then it will fit also very, see, very nice to do that. So it also stays here. If you have something like this, I'm not. Well, I do have them, but but not for 
now. But it will do the trick. But I want to do my image right here. So I am going to use my image. And I'm not going to ruin my image. But I just wanted to say, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I just want to say, if you have something like this, you can use less magnets. All right. That is what I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for now, I am going to use magnets. Four of these. I am. I am. I am. Now, what I was planning to tell you. Um, oh, guys, I can't wait to show you pictures of my new puppy that's on the way. But no. Um, first, why well, I do have a magnet right here? Something went wrong. Anyway, um, a few weeks back, we went to a event that was that was still open during the Corona, but um, they also had a rooftop with um, a restaurant and a bar and a lounge uh, a lounge uh, piece where you can have a nice drink or anything. Um, but that was closed because of the corona. But that event thing, I'm going to tell you a little about it in just a sec. Why I definitely wanted to use something from Amazon One Wand right now. It's called Dolores. And I can't tell you that much about it. But it's a maze. A big maze. And the only thing that I can tell you about it was, um, <clears throat> I'm a little of a dreamer, I'm a fantasy kind of a person, I do a lot of fantasy movies, I do a lot of fantasy books, um, when I see such films as the Chronicles of Maverick, for example, or Alice in Wonderland movies or Harry Potter, all kind of those movies, they are, I wish I could be there. Just only go through doors to open, large castles to visit, all kind of mysterious things. I just love that. Now, this maze is here in Holland and um, we went, my son went there and when he came back he told us a bit how it was and I was way, way at the first minute he told it, told about it, I was from, oh, I want to go there too, definitely. So I called a few friends, do you want to go with me because I am going and yes they were, were willing to go with me. So I right away booked a day on a Sunday and we went and a few weeks back we went and um, for me that was such an experience guys right at the beginning and yeah it, it's a big maze you can imagine a big maze but then not a normal maze as you will expect with uh, outside mazes the the the, the the floral uh, kind of a fence maze where you have to just go walk through. No, this maze is in a building and it's not something you just have to walk to, but you also have to climb, slide, crawl, pure black, nothing from your eyes and also lots and lots and lots of arts. A lot of rooms are not only fun oh this is a dead end you go back no each time when you are in a, in a particular space there are uh, persons of art art people <laughs> art yeah i don't know how you call that but they could have they could they they got the ability to use that space to create a nice fantasy art kind of so it's not a museum no it's not it's just a, a an experience and, and you have to walk to that space alone but you will meet people uh, doing the walks of course but 
the main reason is that you walk alone there. So you got that experience for yourself. Um, so the other three persons that I had with me were how do I get out as quick as possible? They made a little competition out of it. But me, I'm not that kind of a person. I just want to look for, oh, this is a dead end. Oh, what's inside here? Oh, this is this. And oh, wow, they made it. Wow, how did I make that? That's awesome. And oh, wow, that's cool or amazing or beautiful. Or it's just wow, constantly. For me, that was, oh, wow. So I, want, I wanted to do it slowly, but you get when you get your to, 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 to meet your friends and you will walk them along, but they do not have the same feeling that I have. But <laughs> I wish that I that I had to go back when I found the exit. I wish I did not go out that quickly. I wish I go I could go back but I will I will go back soon enough with my friend who have the same feelings as I, as I do so I really want that the corona thing is going on it's, it's moving on and that we can go back because a week later after we went there it, it has to be closed for the corona thing so that is not nice so I can't go back any soon but anyway that was an experience guys and I really thought oh it is an Alice in Wonderland experience because Alice did also go through different worlds different stages and meet different people and you also get that in that maze and yeah and and for me it, it, it was also a <clears throat> Uh, a good test if I was not claustrophobic, if I was not afraid in the dark, if I was physical, still in the mood to do something like that, to crawl and to slide and climb or to everything. And yeah, I'm a little proud of myself, but oh my gosh, I was so crumbled the next four days. I had so much muscle pain if, I, if that's the correct word i don't know if that's the correct word i don't know but that's the word that i just came up with i had so much pain <laughs> so that definitely proves that i'm stiff that i'm getting old <laughs> and i'm not that good uh, sh in in, in the shape or anything or the conditioning condition yeah, how you call that and not not a good ah damn me for the for the for the for the, for the words but anyway that was worth it every sing single time that I got that pain in my legs for, 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 the, for the climbing things it was worth it it definitely was and I was so happy that I could experience, experience that it was amazing that maze that was absolutely stunning it was <sighs> in the meantime this is gonna get very very slowly further if I talking too much but I just wanted to explain how I definitely wanted to do um, this this Alice in Wonderland thing I just wanted to do that so that is what I wanted to tell you okay I'm gonna make a frame out of few of these so oh, I also can make this I don't want to make it too deep so I make it this one mm. wait just a second if I do this just Just two of the <laughs> Oh this one is cool too. Is this cool? This video is gonna take weight. No, this is not nice. Two is nice. Two is nice. <laughs> 
that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two. Two of my diamond shapes. Yep, this is what I like. This is exactly what I like to use. I'm going to cut this. Yep, that's what I'm going to use. So this is not usable. I don't need to cut many, but... But you can imagine how, for those who love to read fantasy things too, you can imagine how nice that was. And I felt so sorry that I already went out so, so quickly, but was, I don't know if I saw everything. I really don't. I have no clue if I saw everything. But at least... I had the experience to go there. All right. And I definitely can recommend everybody to go there once it's open. It's in Tilburg, Holland. Three, six, six of the. All right. So, but yeah, it, it, it was better if we could have dinner there and if we could have a drink there but during the corona it was not allowed unfortunately but when i get home i definitely want to do a alice in wonderland project i did like i said i do i did have two four six, i did have this papers for a long time in my stash waiting for me to do something with it and i thought now it's the time yep even it's december and everybody is with the christmas team thing going on i just wanted to use just wanted to use my Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so I'm just gonna use these tiles. Nice way to use up all your little scraps. And if you don't like it, you always can throw it away. So that's that's good. If you do it first on a simple background like this. to do this but I don't think that's nice I also can overlay it but that's also not nice what if I cut this in three that's when it may be better let's check that out Actually, I need to go up. That is even better. Just go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
just go up. funny thing about this maze is um, a few days later when I went I got an appointment with my physio and I told him why I had so much muscle pain I have no idea if that's a correct one and he thought oh that's coincidence my son lives across the street there and we went there too earlier this year and he went inside for three hours oh my gosh <laughs> so that's a long time but I do can um, can imagine that somebody is such a long time in there Let's see if I can cut this piece. Oh, of course we can. Now, do I like this at the bottom? I think I do. But three hours? Oh, wow. I can't imagine that. I do. I can imagine. I want to go back. I want to go back. I think it's also the adre uh, the, 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 the kick and the adrenaline that you, that you get, which you can get if you're gonna do that. You get such a kick out of it when you go. At least I had that. I had that. When I went out, I was like, oh, wow, I want to go back. <laughs> but perhaps that's just me. <laughs> Here we go. I can't wait to show you the pictures of Chica. Chica. Do you know why I came up with that word? It was so, that word, that name, Chica. Afterwards, I saw that Chica is the Spanish word for little girl. And that made me more decide to want it, that name. But the first thing that I saw at Chica, okay, C-H-I-C, -C, Chic. I love chic. I ho I'm not chic, but I love <laughs> chic in interior and something. And I love chic cars. So yeah, the word chic is inside. And I was explaining to my son. Well, it's also um, sounds a bit like uh, chicky. And chicky is also a nice, well, chic, chicky word for for girl, woman. Eh? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> If I can't explain it myself. Um, and oh my gosh, it's gonna be a small uh, a small photo frame if I may say so. But okay, let's just continuing. Let's just continuing what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? Perhaps it's even better to do this with this one. I think it is. Alright. But, okay. So, Chica is the name that she's gonna get. 
and gosh I want to show you we I even went last week for a visit for another visit because the first time that we visit her well not visit her because then she was just born but I wanted to have another visit and that that visit was right after not right after no that was last week I'm talking he's passed away two weeks ago but I was still not in the mood for a new puppy even that I ordered ordered how can you order a puppy oh. <laughs> I was still not in the mood for a new puppy so I asked the owner if it would if it was possible to visit to visit one more time because she sent me so much nice photos I just wanted to see her in life and she said of course that's no problem at all I even don't like this blue one what do you say I think it's even better to do this one instead perhaps all the way around let's mm -hmm. what do you say well now it's if I see it like this I don't know what do you say I don't know. I'm not satisfied about this one, but we're just gonna try something. This is the correct size. If I cut it. This is a bit better. Mm. All right, I'm gonna do that. Still not completely satisfied, but and I'm not gonna glue it in just yet because if. I'm still not satisfied in in the time being. Then I'm just gonna make another one that maybe does the trick. Here we go. I'm gonna leave it for now because I do believe it, it looks so odd when you see this. Perhaps if I'm gonna make a nice line around it, then perhaps it is a bit better. I don't know. I don't know if that's better, but I'm gonna try to make it better. Perhaps it's the ugliest thing I've ever done. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But then at least I can do a makeover if I'm not like it. Uh, 
I was also thinking how in the world no <sighs> yeah 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 it's still not exactly what I was hoping for but but it is starting out a bit better than before not quite satisfied but we are getting there so let me just apply and still can throw it in the oops Throw it in the trash. But if you keep adding, it's getting better. Better. Yep, it's getting better and better each time. And still. I still think that this is too large. What do you say? Well, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this. You can add a nice picture on here, a nice one, a smaller one, or you can add two small ones on it. Whatever. You want to do with it or a small one like this it's also nice see you can do everything with it you can you can oh we also can use these ones oh wait just a minute no oh, i don't have two ones all right you can you can do everything with it but yeah I'm just gonna put it in put it in put it in don't waste any time what do you say? What do you say? Do you love it or do you hate it? It's definitely not the best that I have made, but... satisfied as it is knowing that there is gonna be a nice picture on top of it yeah and I even can if I want I even can put something like this on here So you can slide your picture on the back, something like this, and put something this right here, and then put a picture on. Hmm. That's possible. That is possible.
everything is possible. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we have to go to the inside. What shall we do? Ah, I want to use these as a nice picture frame. Why not? Can yeah. I have to throw these away? Well, you also can use these on another page. You don't have to use them on the same page. But I'm gonna keep these. See how that's with a new ink pad. I'm all over the ink. A new ink pad does that. So let's see what we're gonna do on the inside. What we're gonna do on the inside. Okay, in the meantime, I did only create two nice symbol tags which you can Put your photo on the back and slide it back in and this one time to do him same thing on the back you can put something in there uh, your photo of course but for now because i don't want to leave plain spots all right this is nice he is watching his watch time to do him yep nice all right so let's go inside and let's decorate so i used that sheet with the rabbit and i'm going to continue in using it for the back of this one i want to keep these plain so you still can add a little photo on it save all the little bits you can here we are peeling off the tape here we are put this on now what shall we do on the background of that one i love to use plain backgrounds but i don't want to use too much other cardstock than only a few spots here and there and the end of the paper bags. So I am gonna search for a nice one. Mm. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use the same one on this side. Saving always the little pieces. Never know when they are handy. You never know. Yeah, put this on. Here we are. Pure and simple. Take your time. To let the glue do its job, especially here with the magnets. Okay, so what shall we do on the background of this one? Um, it's too short. I can split this if I want. If I want that, but do I want that? Of course, you can use another piece of paper. Okay, let's see what colors do we have. Ooh. This is also a nice one for a background. Um, just gonna flip it through. 
real quick. There is another plain one. This one I also like, but I think I go for the white one. Now let's go for this one. All right, so don't you don't have to go all the way down. And let's cut this the same size as the pockets. All right, guys. So this side of this page, paper bag, paper bag. It's almost done, and I don't want to talk too much about my dog. Some of you don't like talking about things that nothing has to do with crafting, but hey, that's just how I am. I just love talking about other things doing crafting. What else do I need to talk about? Cut here, fold there, glue there. That's boring. All right, and the most of you do like hearing stories about my life. And right at this moment, that is my life. And if I am talking about, so cute, you can add loads of things in here, of course. I don't think. Oh, it might. Yes, yes, yes. Your 6x4 photo mat will fit in there too. So that's cool. So we have a 3x4 side picture frame right here. Here fits a picture frame in. 3x6, 3x4. And then here fits a photo frame. And here fits a photo frame. 1, 2. Yeah, 1, 2. Three, if that might, and then three big ones, four small ones, and then of course a few photo tags in here too. I think I am just going to, uh, you can see here that I try to smooch the edges, but I don't like it. I don't like it, I just want clean edges, especially with the white gold edge. I want it plain. This one is even just a little too small. But so how many pictures fits in here? I have no idea. But for now I will leave two in there. So you get the picture on what fits inside. Just a simple photo mat, which you also can provide from a stamp in the middle that says photo here or something. That is possible if you have some. That is possible. I do have them. And then with black, I think. Shall we do that with black? I think with black. Now I also have a new black one, so who do who? Fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, that's nice, but. Oh wow, love it. love it, love it, love it. And I have to let this dry. <laughs> I have to let this dry for a second. But if you don't have these, then that's totally fine, of course, too. But you get the picture that this will fit nicely in here. And you can add a few in here if you want. I don't know exactly what that needs to dry, Diane. Let it dry, let it dry. And then you can add it. Alright, 
me put this one right here. Okay, so you get the picture of this side. Okay, and then at the end we'll put some uh, hinge in here. And yeah, I love it. So cool. Absolutely love it. Cool. Yeah, I'm not that very happy with this one, but mm, maybe I will change it. Maybe I'm not. But anyway, before I'm closing today for filming, it took me a long time and um, perhaps that's the reason because I need to get back in my mojo. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting there. I am getting there, especially when I have something nice uh, looking forward to. And in the meantime, I do like to show you a little bit, a, no, a little, little bit, uh, a few photos um, of Chica. So, if I'm talking about her, then you know a bit how she looks like at this point. Alright, so, if you don't want to see this, skip this part. But who those, who those, for, for, for who do, who, who like to see, then stay tuned. Okay, this is happening right now in my life. And um, I have a few photos right here. And... Um, this is mom and dad. Okay, so this is mom, Prada, and this is dad, cutie. Oh, the names only all. <laughs> so I hope the light is not too strange, but oh my gosh, they are so cute and so sweet and so easygoing. Um, not any barking or anything or... Yeah, I don't know. I really hope that my girl is staying the same way. Anyway, so this is mom and dad. And then here she is just three days old. And she is born on 4 October. And that's here in Holland Animal Day. So that's easy to remember for us, 4 October. So yeah, so here she is three days old. And here she is one week old. So cute. I'm so happy that she sent so many photos to me. And here she is. Oh, I need to get water back in. Um, here she is, I don't know, I think two weeks. I think, uh, yeah, so yeah, she's two weeks old here. So she is getting lighter already. I have no idea how uh, how she is turning out. Oh, look how nice this is. This is so cute. Okay, this is so cute. And it's getting better. <laughs> it is, it is. All right, so here she finally has her eyes wide open. Oh my gosh, my heart pumps every time when I see this. And here she is three weeks, I believe. I think it is. Oh my goodness, so cute. And this is the same day. She makes so nice photos. Amazing. And it will get better. Stay tuned, please do. So Chica is here three weeks. And she's getting lighter and lighter. And here we went to see her. As you can see, this is my hand holding her. Just in the living room. So, oh, she's so cute. Look at that face. Oh, will you melt? Will you melt? Oh, it's so cute and so little. Oh, she is adorable. So, so, so nice. All right, and here my daughter held her. Look at that face. That face is just to eat. Oh, it's just a little teddy bear. Look at those ears. Oh, such a sweetie. Such a loving one. All right, and oh yeah, then the next surprise came yesterday. And... <laughs> When I got those pictures, I screamed so, so much. That woman um, is, is so amazing. And um, I don't, yeah, she makes so much good photos, but this time she really, really, really does it. Okay, so. 
<gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't this just a magazine picture worthy? Oh my goodness. She is amazing. And the owner told me um, she did it so so good. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't watch this all day. And then look this. This is just like a Christmas card. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay guys, so she is four weeks now, four and a half I think even, I don't know, four or five, oh is it four or five, I don't know, anyway, but look at this, oh wow, this is just, that heals my heart, <laughs> and then the last one is Chica and her brother. So Prada and Cutie got two babies, two puppies, and one girl, one boy. And yeah, as you can see, the boy is already orange. I yeah, I don't know if, if he's gonna stay there. I, I think it is. And Chica is more brown, wolf, sable kinda. But I have no idea how she's gonna look like. I talked to someone and she told me that she got two orange um, pomerians and they looked exactly the same thing like this one so I have no idea what color she is going to get but gosh to die for really to die for so anyway so that is the little story so you know <laughs> if I'm going to talk about Chica and I'm try not to do that much I'm so sorry if I do too much but yeah that's just something that happens in my life right now. Okay, one had to go, one comes back in my life. And I need to because my other dog is really lonely. So And she is so used to to be with another dog. So And it's not only for her, but only for me. For me too. Um, yeah, we have to move on. We have to put things behind us. And getting emotional anyway happy things is going looking forward guys looking forward hope that this year passes by 